Hello and God bless. This video is going to be on these screenshots that were released uh, from Bandai Namco uh, about about a few about a, a few days ago, and on um, and on the uh, and on. A little bit more on volume four, but more on Haseo's new form and how I had the name wrong. I mean, it's, they've officially announced that the form is called Fifth Form, so it's officially Fifth Form. So I was wrong. It's called Fifth Form, people. Now we know. So besides that, um, besides that, I wanted to go into. Um, I wanted this to fully discuss these screenshots and as well um, as well discuss volume 4 and the official synopsis from uh, Bandai Namco. So Bandai Namco released this official synopsis along with those four screenshots and then their, and then their official synopsis it said Dig to you last recode is coming back better than ever. In the fourth episode the World R2 announces their service is coming to an end on December 31st, 2018, Haseo then learns of a hint via a mysterious email regarding the whereabouts of his long-lost friend Ovan. Fit with a new form, hashtag Haseo must log back into the world and save his dear friend. So yeah, pretty much that's the official synopsis from Bandai Dynamco. The Haseo has to go online because a mysterious email has to save Ovan. So. So, so yeah, so yeah, what do I think about fifth form and and uh, and do I? I mean, I pretty much fully talked about this before in previous videos, so I'm kind of gonna reiterate some stuff. But what do I think about the full final design that I, I can fully see, especially in this screenshot? I honestly don't think it's a bad form. I honestly like how it looks. But one thing that is weird is that Haseo is actually more shirtless in this form than any of his other forms. If you look at Haseo, that man has some abs now. That man has some abs. <laughs> you can say it's more the game more in the game he has abs, because I can make a character with abs in the game all I want. But then again, does that mean I really have abs? No. But Haseo looks more manly in this in his fifth form than either, either any other form which could Indicate that sales probably matured a little bit. He's probably, I have to say, in GU he was uh, 17. Yeah, in GU in 27, ironically in 2017 he's 17. But yeah, but yeah, in in in, in 20 in, in the first three volumes of GU, I believe in the first volume of GU was 16. Then in volume two he turned 17. Then in volume three he was 17. So, it would mean in volume 4 he would be 18, and yeah, this means he's most likely matured, he's become a full adult, he's ready to accept his adult life, and he's ready to move on from the World R2, and on top of that, he, the only way he's going to move on is by ending it with saving Ovan. So, yeah, I kind of like how this form is pretty much Haseo maturing, it's showing, him, it's showing he is fully matured, it's showing he... I guess by the abs, he's an adult now. <laughs> so, so you see, uh, showing that he has now grown up. So, so yeah, I'm really interested in Volume Four. I'm really excited for Volume Four. I'm really excited for this new form, fifth form. I say, oh, fifth form. And I'm really hoping that Die Hack GU Volume um, Volume Four ends it really well. Be, I mean, I know my girlfriend has said Volume 4 sounds very depressing because it ends in 20, it's the uh, World R2 shutting down in 2018 and stuff like that. But what people don't understand is that this is already set in the Dyak timeline. We just didn't know why the World R2 shut down and how it, and how our sale was affected when it got shut down. But this has already been set in the Dyak timeline that the World R2 did shut down in 2018. It shut down in the timeline at the end of 2018. Then on top of that, in 2019, they had just released the World Revision RX. So pretty much the World RX had come out. And when RX came out, it was pretty much the version Tokyo and Sakuya played. 
Both Tokyo and Sakuya played the World RX, which was the was version after R2. Because in Die Hack you had the Fragment version of the World, then you had the World R1, then you had the World R2, then you had the World RX, which is the version Sakuya and, to and Tokyo played, and then you have finally, I forget what the final version of the World was called in the World Beyond the World, in the Dyke movie Beyond the World, but I, I, I would that version of the world was the final version of the world in the Dyke timeline we got. But yes, you had those versions of the world that exist. This is showing up to be the final days of R2 before the R before R, the RX arc begins. The world RX arc begins. But yes, I'm really liking this new form. I'm, really, I'm hoping it ends well. I can honestly say that it might make me cry it might actually make me cry knowing that this will be the official end to GU and the official end to Haseo moving on from the world so so yeah so see it see it see, 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 see yeah I mean I'm excited the volume 4 sounds more and more great the more and more I hear about it and one thing I want to say last in this video is I'm really hoping we get that Japanese Collector's Edition. I'll show you what I'm talking about for the Die Hack series. Um, let's Google it. Japanese Collector's Edition. Die Hack. GUS Recode. Collector's. I'm just going to search up Wednesday edition. Because that's what they call it in Japan. Limited edition. Images. If I can find an image of it, if it's even on here. I don't think anyone has it. The Dag G Last Free Code Limited Edition. I don't think anyone has an image of it. I was checking shopping. No, no one has an image of it. So let's go back. All. Let's click this because it probably has more of a picture of it. There it is. There it is. I really want this limited edition. This premium edition. So yes, I really want this premium edition because it comes with a lot of nice stuff and it kind of reminds me of my Dot Hack versus uh, premium edition. So yeah, I want this version of the game. Now, I'm really hoping we get it in the West. Right now it hasn't been announced for the West, but if we demand Bandai Namco release this for the West, I'm pretty sure they will. I'm pretty sure. Bandai Namco will release this for the West if we demand it. But well, we gotta demand it, people. We gotta send them emails and stuff like that. And y'all yeah, want this premium edition. But besides that, that was really all I want to talk about was really just giving my final thoughts on the form on in its final design. And uh, my final thoughts on volume four. So yeah, so see so, yeah, so, yeah, I'm super excited. I cannot wait. For this to come out in November, because the most likely it's going to come out. We already know the official Japanese release date, November 1st. Most likely the um, the English release date will probably be a week or so afterwards. So if it comes out November 1st in Japan, let's see. Let's see. What's a Tuesday after November 1st in Japan? Uh. A Tuesday after November 1st in Japan, it will probably come out either November 6th or November 13th here in America. I'm guessing we'll probably get either November 1st or November 13th. So, so yeah, be look. So yeah, I'm super excited when this does come out. But yeah, until the next Die Hack people, the next Die Hack video people, thank you for watching. This has been Uncle Shao saying, God bless, take care. And I hope to catch you guys again next time. Peace out.